Hello. I wanted to do a quick post um, to show you what Steve did in one of the patches. He so um, was so uh, frustrated by my video of showing the weedy patch that um, um, I wanted to show you what he was proud of after he had worked really hard to weed it. And um, I just have to say that uh, his family is very, very humble, hardworking, quiet, private people. <laughs> and I am just the very opposite, and probably our entire family, um, my side, is, is just quite the opposite, loud and boisterous and, um, and so I put him through a lot of misery uh, doing some of the things I do because I don't really think about a whole lot. But I just uh, wanted to take you out and show you uh, show you this patch. Um, <laughs> so I wanted to show you something funny that kind of happened. It kind of proves that pineapples will just about grow anywhere. Is that <laughs> we <laughs> another pile? I'm going to show you that he's going to hate. Um, we have these palm fronds and when they fall out of the tree we made a pile of them and when we were thinning out the pineapple patch we threw one of these pineapple plants over here I don't think we even thought about it I think it just ended up with the pile and it's growing in this um, in this pile of uh, palm fronds so I think that's pretty amazing so I'll show you the patch this morning that uh, he weeded. He's pretty proud of. So it looks a lot better. I tried to tell him that if we're making a post, well, if I'm making a post about pineapple farming in your backyard, that it doesn't have to be perfect. It's not a marketing it's not like we have to be inspected or anything and show the people the reality of weeds grow but I also wanted to point out that when he did this his arms got and legs were so scratched up these these plants will just about eat you alive I think they're man-eating plants so I wanted to show you that if you do if you do grow them and you grow a lot of them and you t tend to weed them even when you go to pick the fruit off of it there's these little splinters. I mean, these little thorns. They hurt, they hurt something terrible, um, and they scratch you up. It's just like a razor, um, and and the, even the little thorns will get stuck in your in your finger. It's a um, very thin. I guess it protects the plant. So I wanted to show you that. Um, just be careful when you go to reach your hand in there to get it watch out for um, for the the splinters on there and just one more thing I wanted to post is showing that um, putting one of the plants in a uh, pot to grow so I I just went around the yard and I got some compost um, uh, like leaves and stuff that had built up and um, we have some sandy soil and I just put some leaves in there, some compost, some um, sand and I picked one of the suckers off one of the plants and I, this is going to be like my theme, just plunk it in there. <laughs> uh, ow. So that's what you do. You just plunk the plant in the soil. You don't have to water it. Really, I mean, it's an air plant. I've been learning a lot watching other people's videos. So, um, someone said that they do not pollinate. So, my idea about needing two for cross pollination, well, that I guess isn't true. So there's your 
plant in a planter and just leave it alone and in a few years I think because this is from a sucker it might get a pineapple in a year versus three um, but that's that and it really the only thing that um, hurts the plant is cold like extreme cold um, before freezing like 35 degrees is when it um, gets cold and it might get yellow on the ends I think if it did get yellow I, I would just watch it it doesn't necessarily mean it's dead you can pull some of the leaves off and then get that root down in there because I think um, uh, it's very hardy and I just think it'll come back if you give it a chance all right Happy pineapple farming.